Viewer discretion is advised. Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to take a look at some, a Lego Technic set from this year, and this is my first Technic set that I have here with me. And the reason why I have this one because this is one of the uh, one of my favorites that is actually coming up for this year. Now I try to do a live stream build on Twitch, but unfortunately it didn't go so well, so I had to stop everything and just build it without streaming. So <sighs> yeah, I'm was, I'm very pissed off about it. So the one I'm actually going to take a look is this right here, the 2023 Lego Technic. This one we have here is set number four two one five three. The NASCAR Next Gen Chevrolet Camaro. This comes with a 672 pieces. And this one costs about $50. Now, before we continue on, you guys can be able to cook favors, so I'll be right back. Before this video starts, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, subscribe to my gaming channel, go to my Instagram to buy something on my Steam, and enjoy the video. Make sure you follow me every social media I have, link in the description down below, and, me, and become my Patreon supporter. We'll get a description down below. So I ordered this on Amazon uh, about a month ago, if I can remember, and I'm actually pretty excited to have this in my collection because this year NASCAR is celebrating 75 years of racing, and I am very excited. I'm a NASCAR fan. The only thing I care about NASCAR is the color scheme and all the cars, so yeah. So here's what the front of the package is going to look like. Here's the top of the packaging of the model of the, diet, of, the uh, of the car, other than the bottom. On the side of the packaging, you have these right here, and of course the side of it right there, and the other side showing off, you know, of of the horse, of the uh, uh, miles per hour, of the uh, you know the motor and the weight of it. But if I can flip it around to the back, you can see everything right here, and you can see the actual model of the of the uh, stock car, two hundred. Miles per hour weighs about 3,425 and 670 horsepower. And yeah, and it's showing everything right here in uh, this. So yeah. All right, let's take a look at the model and give you guys my my up uh, my opinion of this one. So let's do it. So here it is. The Chevy Camaro right here. Now, this is pretty, pretty cool. This is the first Technic set I ever owned. And, to be honest with you, this is actually pretty nice. Now, the paint and the sculpted detailing of this set looks pretty good. The white, red, blue, black looks so, so good together. Combining all the Lego elements right here, you guys can see. But, the one thing I have complained about is some of the Technic, gen Technic pins uh, not, you know, you know, not matching the same color. For example, this part right here on the side, I have the blue Technic pin right here, this side the red Technic pin, and all the other stuff. So yeah, that's one of the major complaints I have. The one, so one thing to complain about it is putting on stickers is pretty giant painted about it. This piece right here is printed, same thing on the other side right here is also printed. But most of the stuff you guys can see is stickers, which chrome stickers. You can see the number 75, they have chrome on it. The same thing on the top. You got the CL1 logo right there. It looks pretty amazing. You see the Chevrolet logo right there, which the camera's not even focusing on it. You can see the next gen lights right there. Pretty, pretty beautiful. It does roll pretty, oops, pretty well. Minus the, of course, the, my fucking background drop. And you can see the bottom right down here of everything. You can see the gears, everything right here. And you can see the motor down here, which is so, so well. You can see the back of it right here. You got the number 75 on the side right here. And of course, I hate putting on stickers. So everything's got a little bit of crooked. And yeah. Now this one has a bunch of gimmicks. First thing first, you open the top of it and you can see the motor right here. Of four pistons, of eight pistons, four pistons each side. So one here, one here. So you got eight. And the back wheel roll because if you move it, all of it move. Well, let me do one in front so you can see it better. You 
see all of them spin perfectly well. And that's one of the coolest gimmick that um, they ever have. The next gimmick is this back here, which if you turn it, the front tires can move left and right, which is actually pretty cool. So you want to go left, you go left. You want to back up a little bit. So that's actually pretty nice. Now if you want to go right, that's actually pretty amazing. Let me do a little bit of a size comparison. Uh, let me grab a one of the NASCAR diecasts I have. So here's comparison between this one and the Technic version of it, which it's so bigger than this. Of course, this is a 164 scale. And also, I'm still trying to find some of the NASCAR Cynic series from Wave 10 because the 2023 is coming out soon. <sighs> what else? One of the other issues I have. Well, let's see what other issues that I have. Well, of course, like I said, the Technic pins not matching up the same color, like from the red side, which is completely annoying, to be honest with you. But I understand why. There's no way to open this up because, of course, the racers can go in there and that's it. Um, of course, you got the NASCAR Cup Series logo right there, by the way. If I can zoom in a little bit more. There it is. The Cup, the Cup Series right there. More looks of the, you know, the sticker detailings right there. You also, you got the arrows and the exhaust pipe down there. And the gas cap on the back. And everything is the same thing on the other side. The only difference is... On the left side it has a red on it, but on the blue side it had on the blue side it had red on it, but on the right side it had blue on it. Which is absolutely looks pretty good. And pretty much that's it. Bunch of hairs in the way. I do apologize for that, so yeah. It's way it's not that even heavy to be honest with you. Compared to the other Technic set, if you guys own some, I think this one is like a better one right here. This is just a good looking Technic set for, you know, someone who's a NASCAR collector or NASCAR fan or just a Lego collector, just, you know, want to co collect all the Lego set. So, yeah. Well, overall, this set is pretty good. I do highly recommend it to have this in your collection because, like I said, NASCAR is celebrating 75 years of all the racing and I am actually proud to own this in my collection. Anyways, I'm going to end this right here. So, have fun to say for them always. I'm out. Change the world. My pride is the message. Good